like you've just heard, the session, Evolving Mantra for Startup Ecosystem in Odisha. And for this session, we have with us Mr. Shrikumar Mishra, the founder of India's first venture capital-backed agri-startup, Milk Mantra, which has not only scripted a success story, but continues to move its way to greater heights of accomplishment. So welcome, Mr. Mishra. Thank you. Uh, before we talk about the mantra for startup ecosystem, let me talk about the mantra that you have, your milk mantra. Tell me, how did you think of, I mean, I'm sure this is a question that comes to everybody's mind, how did you think of something as traditional as milk for your mantra, milk mantra? Yeah, I get asked that question uh, uh, quite, quite a bit. So this happened uh, back in 2008-9 uh, 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 when I was still uh, working in uh, London and uh, I wanted to come back to India, especially Odisha, to set up something uh, to build an exciting and engaging uh, consumer food brand in a space which uh, you know really addresses the issues around nutrition. And uh, milk stood out quite clearly as uh, something which ticked that box uh, very much. And also had this whole uh, sort of idealistic thought that should do something which kind of impacts the value chain uh, in Odisha and uh, people can be part of that. Uh, so th that's how it came about. Well, little did I know that uh, uh, when um, I actually came back and uh, started putting things together, I was asked, uh, what you uh, went out and did all that and now you're coming back to become a dudwala. So I said, uh, no, the idea is a little bit different and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. So when, when you know you were asked that you know you've come back, you know left a corporate career and come back and to become a dudwala. But uh, now since that you have scripted a success story, and uh, if you have to recall those days, what do you think was the biggest challenge that you faced? Was it the mindset? Was it uh, capital? Was it uh, what was it? What was it? Policy? Uh, I mean, lack of them. What was it that the, was your biggest challenge at that point of time? Yeah, I think the challenges uh, s still continue. I think at different stages there are different challenges and uh, it's about the scale of uh, those challenges. I think starting out early on uh, the challenges were uh, much uh, larger and uh, you mentioned successful. I think we're still on that way. There's, uh, there's a long way to go before we can sort of add that objective to us. But uh, uh, I think, yeah, one of the biggest challenges was around the mindset that uh, the belief something could be done like uh, this in Odisha was uh, was just not there um, and uh, um, I think that mindset was a big challenge the other one was uh, doing anything out of here you know uh, required uh, capital especially you start up uh, anything you need VC capital angel capital so Odisha was just not on anybody's uh, map so getting 22 angel investors from all over the world getting a VC uh, to think about Odisha that something can be done out here was a completely uh, you know, large challenge and it took me about 20 months uh, uh, to raise uh, that first round of capital which normally should have taken 6-8 months. True. So uh, if, if you know I, I said rewind now if we fast forward and come back to the present times and you know following the Startup India program and now uh, with the startup policy that the government has also formulated we are looking at uh, some 1000 startups in 3 years that's, that's anyways the plan is. What do you see the basic difference that has come about for entrepreneurs? then and now? Well, I think, uh, again, uh, the answer to that is uh, the thinking. I think it's, it's the mind which has to uh, undergo big change. And I think the signs of, uh, of that are uh, clearly visible. I can relate on a sort of personal uh, uh, incident. Um, say, when, uh, when, when, like I was mentioning, when I came back, so even my relatives would say that, uh, uh, you know, we are giving uh, sort of all these examples to our uh, children that you should study well and uh, do well and get a good job, go out and be successful. And what have you done? You've uh, done that and come back here. So what example are we going to uh, sort of give to our uh, children? And it's sort of antithesis to, uh, you know, most things. Uh, just recently, uh, you know, a couple of weeks back at a wedding uh, um, here in Bhubaneswar, uh, so this, this sort of... Uh, Couple, elderly couple uh, walked up and uh, said, you Shri Kumar, we want to speak with you. Now our children are in, uh, are studying uh, in somebody's in, um, just passed out of uh, Stanford, somebody's in Stern, he's working with uh, McKinsey in the uh, US. Uh, 
they are thinking of uh, doing something we really want them to come back um, and they're, they're not sure whether it'll work out or not but we really want them to come back can you speak with them uh, so i said yeah surely i think that's the that's the mindset change which in the, i think has evolved uh, significantly uh, and and that's that's the biggest uh, uh, piece uh, which which has evolved apart from that of course externally uh, you really can't build up startups by looking at the government and expecting the government to do a lot of things the government has a role it's about facilitation and the framework but uh, to expect that the government will build startups and uh, it will not happen uh, so i think the external side is also changing the framework the policy all of that which has become a lot more positive there's a lot more positivity in the thinking at least the government is thinking about beyond uh, you know big business about what can spur startup ecosystem and all of that uh, but the the bigger one is about the internal mindset right so uh, when when you're talking about a startup ecosystem you know where 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 you allow actually new startups to flourish while also strengthening the existing ones um, the fact remains that you know ever since there there's it's a buzzword startup has recently in fact uh, over the last few years it's become a buzzword so every there's a lot of youngsters who want to uh, you know start something of their own you know want to become entrepreneurs but there are also equal number of failures and uh, of course like you just said that you don't want to say that you have already uh, scripted a success story but yes there is some amount of success that we you can't deny that has that has been attached to your startup so what is it that you think that you have done right what maybe uh, other young entrepreneurs are not doing maybe i, I don't think uh, you know being an entrepreneur is actually an alternative career option uh, being an alter uh, you know entrepreneur uh, involves a lot of uh, uh, you know challenges hardship uh, sacrifice things that don't get visible to the outside world the part that shines uh, is visible the other uh, things that you do in the dark is absolutely sort of affects you at a very psychological and deep uh, level so entrepreneurship uh, i think is is not something which is just uh, to be pursued uh, as an alternative career option you know young kids who are going uh, you know looking at various ventures or whatever they have to do i think need to think deeply about how uh, what they are going to pursue because it's a tough journey they have to be really committed and pursue it uh, seriously the second part is um, again i think uh, this this is i think a bit of the fallout of all this buzz that, uh, that there are a lot of uh, you know entrepreneurs who are just thinking about starting something quickly and uh, you know thinking that things will are easy scale up quickly and sell it out and make money and all of that building enterprises takes time uh, so that Uh, continuous effort 24 by 7 is uh, absolutely important in building uh, uh, institutions businesses uh, which which kind of uh, are able to scale so i think those two things need to be uh, kept in mind very clearly so you basically is it is it is it also that you know in a in a hurry you know it's like maybe putting the cart before the horse is is it something like that that's happening uh, with uh, quite a few of uh, young entrepreneurs well i won't say young entrepreneurs i think the general kind of uh, sort of buzz around it is sort of perpetuating a bit of this belief uh, which is which probably is not the best way of uh, building uh, you know ventures but at the same time uh, you know youngsters have a lot of brilliant ideas they need that ecosystem they need that bit of uh, support uh, which uh, once once that evolves uh, you know entrepreneurs have to be single minded in their pursuit whatever you pursue you have to be very focused be single minded uh, about that and put you know 120% behind it True. So, so it can't be that you're uh, half pregnant. You'll have to be sort of fully into it. All right. So here, you know, basically, when I, I mean, uh, looking at a perspective from how, you know, when you're talking about failures, basically there are two areas where I see there is a problem. One is a uh, lot of people. I mean, they have ideas. They have brilliant ideas, but they do not know how to go about it. How to start? I mean, the basic. the first step itself where probably they need a bit of hand holding or a mentoring what what about that what about that area see i think uh, that's that's one of the pieces when we talk about an ecosystem that's that's one of the important pieces about uh, how uh, you know entrepreneurs uh, starting a fresh are able to connect and get uh, useful pieces of advise or uh, you know have the right kind of linkage with the right sort of uh, people who are able to help that so that ecosystem is a challenge i mean uh, if you on a scale of 1 uh, to 
if you look at uh, you know all the uh, I mean I love the positivity around in Odisha or in Bhubaneswar around uh, everything around uh, startups. Then, the, but on a scale of one to ten, we are probably at one in building that ecosystem. So there's a long way to go to even reach uh, five. And I think I think uh, th that's where people who have uh, done a few things. Um, I think it's our responsibility to um, sort of step forward and uh, try to engage with uh, you know such uh, entrepreneurs and uh, youngsters who are uh, aspiring to do something and uh, add you know in a brief way whatever we can do. I think that that all these small steps add on to that ecosystem and uh, I'm sure that score can quickly move forward uh, once that develops. Right. So before we actually open the house for questions, because a lot of uh, people would be interested to ask you uh, questions on uh, your success and, of course, a startup ecosystem. But um, the other last question that I would like to ask, knowing the fact, like I said, that there is uh, an ecosystem, a good ecosystem is definitely required for young, for young entrepreneurs to actually grow and thrive. Um, so is there, can you just, I mean, at the end, I would just probably ask you, is there any particular success mantra that, you know, needs to be followed here? When it comes to, can you can you like say that okay, this this is a kind of a mantra uh, from the milk mantra man that who can say that yes, that needs to be followed for maybe uh, actually going the success way. So I think uh, when I saw that uh, uh, topic of uh, this conversation, which is success mantras, so I don't think really there are uh, so there is one such uh, mantra. If uh, there was one, I would have chanted that all the time. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think there is that uh, any one specific mantra. But I think what uh, I, I have learned in my sort of uh, experience in the last uh, several years is about uh, pursuit. I think if you persevere and pursue something, uh, the as as someone had uh, written very famously, so the whole universe conspires to deliver it. So I think that pursuit is important, and I think uh, entrepreneurs just need to be absolutely positive. Of course, not just think positive, actually do things proactively, uh, positively do their karma, and uh, you know the rest uh, uh, will fall into place many times. Many times they won't fall into place. The pursuit is needed. All right, that's, I think that's a wonderful uh, piece of advice. We will take questions from the audience as well. So um, questions from the audience. My question to you is, that this basically is a conclave uh, sponsored or organized by a media house. Do you have a co clear concept of the entire ecosystem instead of one piece, like two, three, four, five pieces, uh, education or marketing arrangement or, or what have you? And if you have that, uh, would you like to take help of the media house or communicate it to the government so that the young startups which are coming, uh, they will uh, be knowing. Because that will be your value addition, your contribution to the society, your contribution to the whole startup operations in Odisha. Because we are talking about building or rebuilding a new Odisha. In that, uh, have you thought of contributing? In case you have, then I happen to know the people around here. Uh, this media house can, can promote your thoughts. Sure. We we always try and do our small bits in building the ecosystem. So even the government uh, sort of asks us nowadays about uh, our inputs into the startup policy, which I've been involved with as well. But it's a lot about the implementation as well. Uh, it, it goes a lot beyond the ideation of it. I think there, there are like too many ideas currently. Uh, the implementation of it is uh, important. And uh, yeah, surely in whatever small way one can contribute, uh, one is always uh, there. Right, we have one more. Yeah. Usually, you know, uh, startups are, uh, like when we go about it, you know, the idea is to have a very unique business plan, something that will, you know, stand out, something that's not already there. But what if I told you, like, suppose you are to sell a detergent when there is already self surf excellentite, so how will you go about it? I think you, you answered the question. Unless, if you try and do the same thing over and over again, things are not going to change, right? You have to really find what is a problem and what is the scalable solution to that. So if the currently, if there is an unaddressed problem, then there clearly is a requirement for a solution. The problem has to be large. It needs to be a consumer problem. It needs to be a business problem, or it needs to be a process problem. So it, it has to fall in one of these areas. But 
the solution to that is something which you need to think clearly about and that's where entrepreneurs kind of uh, successful entrepreneurs come in and uh, bring in differentiation thinking about what's the product or what's the technology that will address things uh, differently doing things uh, the same way a bit incrementally differently is is a, a sort of recipe for uh, failure uh, as as an entrepreneur for the success mantra i must quote success comes to those who dare and act and it seldom goes to the timid how to improve <coughs> the condition of odisha in the scenario and uh, i am in the school system and i am trying to open eco uh, these eco clubs in most of the schools in kendriya vidyalayas and uh, uh, in the face of rapid change and how to inculcate that the the cult of materialism should go away from the students and they should have love for this uh, ecosystem uh, i think uh, it's about what's more important in today's world is inclusive growth so uh, having business models which impact having uh, consciously thought of that business model and that's where the concept of uh, conscious capitalism uh, comes in which is one of the ethos of uh, milk mantra it's all built on a dna of conscious capitalism i think that's that's important but uh, uh, materialism in in a positive sense is not necessarily uh, bad i mean if 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 it can be turned uh, positively as a sort of reinforcement for uh, youngsters as well how do you see yourself and milk mantra in about 10 years uh do you have you thought about it and is there a clear plan um that will be good to know that's a big uh, big question and i think uh, you know right now our uh, uh, site is just uh, over the next few months but yeah there's there's a bigger uh, plan of course um, and uh, as a as a, you know uh, you you might be aware the the vision for uh, milk mantra uh, is nourishing truly pure living from consumers to farmers so i think that's that's what enthuses uh, all of us uh, uh, at milk mantra and in 10 years time we will see uh, you know how how that uh, goes thanks well i think we'll sign off on the note i uh, without you know not sounding promotional but this was like mu khola acha bola <laughs> thank you so much